this physical education unit is about basketball. In this unit, you will learn about the following physical education standards, motor skills and movement patterns. The physically educated student demonstrates competency in a variety of motor skills and movement patterns. For an example, dribbling, passing, and shooting correctly. Tactics and strategies. The physically educated student applies the knowledge, concepts, principles, strategies, and tactics related to movement and performance. For an example, offensive and defensive strategies during a basketball game. Personal and social behavior, rules, safety, and etiquette. The physically educated student exhibits responsible personal and social behavior that respects self and others in physical activity settings. For an example, following basketball rules, displaying teamwork, and sportsmanship. Let's start off with the history of basketball. Inventor, James Naismith. He was a 31-year-old Canadian physical education instructor. He created the indoor sport to keep athletes inside during the winter. He described basketball as a less injury prone sport than football. Location, Springfield, Massachusetts at the YMCA. Important dates, invented in 1891, and it was included in the Olympic Games for men in 1936 and for women in 1976. Here are some careers in basketball. Player, coach, referee, team manager, athletic trainer, statistician, sports marketer, social media manager, athletic director, athletic director of compliance, nutritionist, general manager, broadcasters, scouts, referees, and sports announcers. Levels in basketball, youth leagues, high school, college, and professional. Two professional American leagues are the WNBA and the NBA. The NBA stands for National Basketball Association, and the WNBA stands for Women's National Basketball Association. Here you will see Candace Parker and LeBron James. Candace Parker currently plays for the Chicago Sky of the WNBA. She is a versatile player, but Parker mainly plays the forward position. LeBron James is an American professional basketball player that currently plays for the Los Angeles Lakers of the NBA. He is widely considered one of the greatest NBA players in history, and he plays the forward position. Here is a diagram of the court. Let's start off with number one, the three-point arc. Number two, the center circle. Number three, this is usually where the point guard is positioned. Number four, the basketball hoop. Number five, the forward position. Number six, the baseline. Number seven, the wing. Number eight, mid-court line. Number nine, free throw lane. And number 10, the free throw line. There are many rules in the game of basketball. Here's a couple of rules. A regulation basketball team consists of five players. The game begins at the center of the court with a jump ball. Each team must use a combination of dribbling and passing to advance the ball toward their designated basket. Two points are scored for each field goal while three points for field goal shot beyond the designated arc. Dribbling with two hands or dribbling with one hand after you have already stopped your dribbling is called the double dribble. Dribbling. Dribble with your fingertips and pads of your hands. Keep your head up. Your legs should be bent, flex your wrist, spread your fingers and push the ball down. Keep your elbows close to your body and dribble the basketball close to the ground. Run quickly and dribble the basketball in front of you about waist high. Skills, the bounce pass. Hold the ball with both hands chest high. Step forward, extend your arms and snap your wrists to throw the ball forward and down into the floor to bounce it to your teammate. Finish with your arms in front 
die hard. Use it whenever the defender's arm or body might block a chest pass. Skills. This is a video of the chest pass. Stand with your feet shoulder width apart and knees slightly bent. With two hands and your elbows bent, hold the ball in front of your chest. Step forward towards your target and push the ball with both hands from your chest. Fully extend your arms and point your thumbs down to the ground. Your teammate's chest is your target. Let's go over shooting skills. Number one, start small and end tall. Bend your knees, explode into your shot, push your hips back, end in an extended position and follow through. Two, snap the elbow, extend your follow through, snap the wrist, shoot up and then out. And three, middle to middle, Take your middle finger to the middle of the rim. Where the middle finger goes, the hand will follow. Line up the middle of your elbow to the middle of the rim. Basketball terms. Field goal. Any shot attempted, missed, or made. Field goal attempt. Any shot attempted. Field goal made. Any shot made. Free throw. A shot given to a player after being fouled while attempting a field goal. Free throw attempt and free throw made. Fouls and violations. Personal fouls include any type of illegal physical contact. This includes hitting, pushing, slapping, holding, or an illegal pick or screen. Fouls and violations. Personal foul penalties. If a player is fouled while shooting, he or she gets two free throws if his shot doesn't go in, but only one free throw if his shot does go in. Charging. An offensive foul that is committed when a player pushes or runs over a defensive player. The ball is given to the team that the foul was committed upon. Blocking. Blocking is illegal personal contact resulting from a defender not establishing position in time to prevent an opponent's drive to the basket. Flagrant foul. Violent contact with an opponent. This includes hitting, kicking, and punching. This type of foul results in free throws plus the offense retaining possession of the ball after the free throws. Intentional foul. When a player makes physical contact with another player with no reasonable effort to steal the ball, it is a judgment call for the officials. Technical foul. A player or a coach can commit this type of foul. It does not involve player contact or the ball, but it is instead about the manners of the game. Foul language, obscenity, obscene gestures, and even arguing can be considered a technical foul. Violations, walking or traveling. Taking more than a step and a half without dribbling the ball is traveling. Moving your pivot foot once you've stopped dribbling is traveling. Carrying or palming. When a player dribbles the ball with his hand too far to the side, up or sometimes even under the ball. Double dribble, dribbling the ball with both hands on the ball at the same time or picking up the dribble and then dribbling again is a double dribble. Held ball. Occasionally, two or more opposing players will gain possession of the ball at the same time. In order to avoid a prolonged or violent tussle, the referee stops the action and awards the ball to one team or the other on a rotating basis. Violations. Goaltending. If a defensive player interferes with a shot while it's on the way down toward the basket, while it's on the way up towards the basket after having touched the backboard, or while it's in the cylinder above the rim, it's goaltending and the shot counts. If committed by an offensive player, it's a violation and the ball is awarded to the opposing team for a throw-in. 
backcourt violation. Once the offense has brought the ball across the midcourt line, they cannot go back across the line during possession. If they do, the ball is awarded to the other team to pass inbounds. Time restrictions. A player passing the ball inbounds has five seconds to pass the ball. If he does not, then the ball is awarded to the other team. Other time restrictions include the rule that a player cannot have the ball for more than five seconds when being closely guarded and in some states and levels, shot clock restrictions require a team to attempt a shot within a given time frame. Player positions. Number one, the point guard. Number two, shooting guard. Number three, small forward. Four, power forward. And five, the center. Here are some descriptions of each position. The guard, potentially the shortest players, should be good at dribbling fast, seeing the court, and passing. Their job is to bring the ball down the court and set up offensive plays. There are two types of guards. The forward, next tallest players. They may be called upon to play under the hoop, may also be required to operate in the wings and corner areas, and there are two types of forwards. The center, generally your tallest players, and generally are positioned near the basket. Here is a video of the point guard passing the ball to the power forward. This is a video of the power forward passing the ball to the center. This is a video of the center passing the ball to the shooting guard. This is a video of the small forward receiving the ball and shooting at the three-point line. In basketball, you can score one point, two points, or three points. You can score one point by making a free throw. You can score two points by making a layup or any shot made inside the three-point arc. And you can score three points by making any shot outside of the three-point arc. This is a layup drill. You can score two points by making a layup. This is a jump shot drill. History of dunking. The first dunk in organized sport happened in 1936. Joe Fortenberry, a six foot eight inch Texan, introduced the dunk during the Berlin Olympics. When and why did the NCAA ban dunking? The NCAA banned the slam dunk before the 1967-1968 college season for a couple of reasons. In the organization's words, the dunk was not a skillful shot, and the rules committee said the ban was also a result of injury concerns. Their report cited 1,500 events where a player was hurt around the backboard during the previous year. While the NCAA never admitted it explicitly, many speculated the NCAA enacted the ban because of UCLA's Lou Alcindor. He would later change his name to Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Alcindor regularly dunked over his opponents his first year in college. The media nicknamed it the Lou Alcindor Rule, which prohibited players from making shots above and directly over the cylinder. Alcindor's coach at UCLA, the legendary John Wooden, said the NCAA indicated Alcindor was not the reason for the rule. However, the officials did admit his name came up in many discussions. This article was written by the sportscasting.org. Offense. An offense is your method to score baskets and get open shots against your opponent. 
Most coaches consider their offense to be a continuous motion or a play that can be run multiple times. It's common to have more than one offensive set, usually a primary offense and a secondary offense. Defense. A basketball defense refers to the defensive strategies, alignments, and positioning that a team uses to prevent the opposing offense from scoring baskets. In basketball, good defense requires quickness, footwork, and a deep understanding of the fundamentals. There are many types of defensive strategies. Man-to-man. -man. This defensive scheme assigns players to a specific opposing player often matched up by position, ability, or size. Zone defenses. Where man-to-man -man defense has you assigned to a specific player, this defensive strategy has you guarding a specific area instead. You have the 2-3 zone defensive strategy, 3-2, 1-3-1, 2-1-2, and 1-2-2. Here is a fun fact. The U.S. Olympic women's basketball team won six straight Olympic gold medals and scored more than 100 points in 2016. This is another fun fact. Michael Jordan paid fines for wearing his own shoes. You probably connect Michael Jordan with his legendary Air Jordans, a now iconic shoe because of its record sale numbers. What you may not know is that these shoes used to be against the NBA dress code. Michael Jordan paid an NBA fine each time he wore them rather than play the game without them. Eventually, the NBA allowed the shoes on the court. Can you guess which NBA team won the most championships? Well, if you guessed the Los Angeles Lakers, you are correct. They won 17 championships. But the Bolton Celtics also won 17 championships. So we have a tie. History of the three-point shot. The NCAA implemented a three-point line in 1986. High school basketball implemented a three-point line a year later. This is a list of the best three-point shooters in the NBA. Some may have thought it was Stephen Curry, but no, it's Steve Kerr. Here's a joke for you. How do basketball players stay cool during a game? They stand near the fans. <laughs> what is good sportsmanship? Of course, you need good sportsmanship when you play all sports. Good sportsmanship is when people who are playing or watching a sport treat each other with respect. This includes players, parents, coaches, and officials. You can have a positive attitude, give your best effort, shake hands with the other team before and after the game, support teammates by saying good shot or good try, never criticize a teammate for trying, accept calls and don't argue with the officials, treat the other team with respect, and never tease or bully. Here's another fun fact. Colin Sexton attended Pebble Brook High School in Mableton, Georgia, and now he's a part of the Cleveland Cavaliers. Good job, Colin. Credits. My name is Sharice Thompson from Pebble Brook High School. I am a health and physical education teacher, a track and field coach, and a cross country coach. I'm also the author of Coach Canine and the PE Pups that can be found on Amazon. Coach Banfield is from Pebble Brook High School. He is a health and physical education teacher, the health and physical education department chair, and our soccer coach.